done with the scraping here. Um, I do have this one problem area right here uh, that I'm not sure is ever really going to come in as close as I want it to. I'm going to keep working at it. Um, but I just wanted to get a sort of a basic scrape done on it to see how it would go and what sort of um, you know precision I could actually hold with what I have and how I'm going about it. Um, there is some good patterns developing. I mean I really like how this is coming in over here and my major concern is the area around the oil groove obviously so I'm, I'm definitely going to bring this in. Um, when I measure it it's actually um, within about two to four tenths depending on um, sort of how I'm checking it. So uh, I'm pretty happy with it for now. Um, I'm gonna basically move on to um, the next item which is the the table and here's the block of steel that we're going to remake the end part of the table. So the next step really is to measure this up, make a little working drawing, and uh, get all the dimensions that I need off of it, and then I'll start whittling this guy down to uh, get it to where I need. I'm going to indicate this piece in the jaw, mostly because my jaw is big enough. And I just want to make mention here, I was listening to a podcast, the, I'm not sure what they call it, the Home Shop Machinist podcast or something, it's the cogwheel with uh, Max and um, Justin, cogwheel, enjoy a precision for everybody that follows those guys, but it's a good podcast to listen to, but I was listening to like the last episode they were talking about work holding and Justin made a comment about four jaw chucks about how versatile they are and um, you know I realized you know he's right he made a comment about the if he could only choose one work holding device on a lathe it would be a four jaw and I thought you know uh, that's that's pretty true so uh, with that said um, it was an interesting comment, and, uh, you know, this chuck might never come off of here now <laughs> after hearing that comment. Um, I do really like my um, ER32 collet chuck for this lathe, um, but as far as my three jaw goes, it's pretty much a piece of junk. Um, it's it's out four to five thousandths easily, um, but this four jaw is pretty nice, so... Um, I encourage everybody that might be watching my videos to also watch those guys and to listen to the podcast. I think it's cogwheel.net. Uh, it might be cogwheel.com or .org or some other uh, suffix, but um, it's a very good podcast, very entertaining. So uh, yeah, let's get this indicated and we'll start whittling away at it.
got this all roughed in now. Uh, I did finish the faces um, because mostly because the lengths aren't really that critical. Um, it was a lot of metal removal for this little machine. I made all those chips and all those chips and all those chips and it's pretty messy and so I'm going to let this cool down and come back to it another time and bring uh, this will become uh, 12 millimeters for the bearing and this will be a slide fit with the, the gear and this is going to fit inside the rotary table casting that I bored um, and then the excess here I'm just going to saw that off um, probably at work because I don't really have a way to do it definitely not going to face it off on this machine <laughs> so it's moving along uh, then once this is done on the lathe and I face the other side um, we'll be cleaning up the casting on the table and uh, then attaching this to the table um, so yeah the it's, it's progressing slowly, but it's moving along.